everyone. Today we're going to do some box plots of data. It's a really good way of visualising um, your numbers to see if you had skew is to see if you have any skewness either up or down in your data sets. You can use this for sales data. You can use this for student improvement, like I do, or anything else. First off, you've got your raw scores. So I've converted my raw scores, which are here, into percentages, and these are the two columns that we're going to work with. So the percentage column here and the percentage column here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a box plot of two sets of data. So this will let me know if my students are improving or declining, whether I'm doing my job. All right, let's go into it and let's do it. So we need four pieces of data. We need the minimum, the first quartile, the third quartile, and the maximum. Now, if I go too quickly for you, the workflow is here. Simply follow that order of instructions as they're written, and it will work for you. All right, let's do the minimum. So I type in equals min, and straight away I get the option minimum, and then I simply tell it where to look for the minimum number. Now you'll see in this data here that there is a zero, so it should come up with zero if it's correct, and there you go. Then I tell it to find the number that sits at the first quartile, so I say equals quartile, and even before I'm finished typing, I have the option first quartile. I highlight the same column, same column each time. And this time, it's really important to remember to put a comma and tell it which quartile to show you. In this case, we want the lower quartile, so it's number one. Enter. 37 is the score in the first quartile. Then I need the, the number that's in the third quartile. So which score is sitting in the three quarter position? So I just say equals quartile Look in the same group of data, because we're doing test one, see? Same group of data, comma, three, enter. And 64% is at the third quartile. What's my maximum score? Equals max. Click on the, the option that says maximum. Go over to the same data over here. Select the same data, press enter, and 100. And lo and behold, the maximum score indeed was 100. I'll do this one more time and then we'll do the box plot. You can skip ahead if you want to. Equals minimum. This time I'm doing the second test, so I grab the data out of the second test. Enter. First quartile of the second test. Equals quartile. Select my data. This time a comma, remember first quartile. Don't worry about the big number, we'll fix that in a minute. Third quartile equals quartile. Select my data that I wanted to find the quartile of, comma, three, third quartile, enter. Maximum equals max Tell it where to look for the maximum number, hit enter, 94%, so it looks like this was our highest score. Okay, now let's clean up these numbers. We'll simply go up to the shrink button, as I like to call it. Decrease the decimal numbers. Decrease the decimal numbers again. Now we're ready to do our box plot. We're going to highlight this whole table. We're going to go up here to the charts button. Click on the Charts button. We're going to select Chart Type. And now what we're going to do is we're going to deselect this button here, which is Switch Rows. Deselect that. That allows us to go down one of the very last options. I have to scroll here. One of the very last options is the Candlestick Chart. That's also called Box Plots. Select that. There's our chart. This straight away shows me that my middle score has actually improved within my data set that even though I've got a bigger spread between the first and third quartile it's become larger on the upward trend which is a good thing and also my lowest score has improved so it looks like maybe the teachings working all we have to do now to insert that in our chart is press the insert button and there you have a really nice visual guide as to how your teaching is going 
why not do that of your next lot of student marks and share with them their journey. Thanks very much guys, hope this was useful.